If you do a YouTube search right now, how to become an ethical hacker, you're gonna find probably hundreds of videos by a bunch of different people telling you do this, do this, do this, and you can become an ethical hacker. Half of those videos are probably gonna have an anonymous mask to up the view count. And in this video, I want to encourage you, don't believe every YouTuber. When it comes to following YouTubers or influencers, which I'm beginning to recognize I somewhat fit into that category, there's five things to look out for. I, I encourage you, before you follow a YouTuber, before you follow an influencer, before you purchase a course, check these five things about them. Number one, do they have proven experience? There are far too many YouTubers who will sell you a course or sell you a coaching package saying, hey, follow this and you can become an ethical hacker. Then when you read their background, you learn that they have never spent any amount of time as an ethical hacker or as a pen tester, or when you try to dig into it, they tell you, you know what? I wanna keep my work experience private, which I sort of get that, but if you're selling coaching or courses, you should have like proven experience that you do or have actually worked in the field. Number two, accuracy. When you watch their videos, when you watch their content about web app pen testing or network pen testing or APIs or cloud, are they actually saying the right stuff? You see, anyone can hit play on a webcam or a phone or whatever camera, and anyone can solve a try hacking machine just by looking at a walkthrough and going through it in 10 minutes. You can generally tell just by listening to them, do they actually know what they're talking about? Do they know how to troubleshoot? Do they know how to think outside of the box? Do they know how to actually hack? You give me any YouTuber and give me five minutes of watching their video and I can tell you whether or not they are accurate and whether or not you should follow them. Number three, do they have hands-on content? If all their videos are like the video I'm making right now, I'm sitting, I'm just sitting outside talking to you guys. If this is the only videos on my channel, you probably shouldn't follow me to learn how to be an ethical hacker. But here's the thing. I have over 600 videos and countless live streams of me pulling up a machine blindly and saying, all right guys, let's dive into this. And I share with you my full thought process, my methodology, my note taking, and I teach in real time as I'm doing it. If the YouTuber you follow does not have any hands-on content, but it's just them saying, hey, here's how I make a bunch of money in tech, you might not want to follow them. Number four, is there transparency? And what I mean about that is when they make, for example, a sponsored video, are they upfront about that? You know, one thing I went off on a while ago was a bunch of YouTubers making sponsored videos about certifications. Now, if that's you, I'm not mad about it, but I do think that is kind of an ethical dilemma. And to get real practical, when TryHackMe released their two certs, the Sal one and the PT one, there were a bunch of videos saying, hey, this is the best blue team cert, or this is the best red team cert, but they were clearly sponsored videos. Now, I also made videos about those certs, but I turned down the sponsorship because at the end of the day, it's really hard to believe someone talking about a certification saying it's the best if they're being paid thousands of dollars to say that it's the best. So when they make sponsored content, are they upfront and are they transparent about it? I'm not mad about sponsored content, but are they transparent when they are making that content and transparent if they get any kickbacks as a result of that content? And finally, number five, do they have engagement with the community? Can you actually talk to them? Can you actually reach out to them? You see, for me, if you're in the Hacks Murder community, you know that I'm on Discord all the time. If you've ever sent me an email or DM me on Discord, you know that I actually get back to you. It might take me a few days, but I will read your email. I will read your Discord message. I will respond to you. I will meet with you. I will work with you free of charge just to help you get through whatever you're working through now. Like I said, I get a bunch of messages, so it may not be right away, but I do my best to engage with the community, even here on YouTube. I try to read and respond to every single comment, every single question on my YouTube videos. Now, as my platform has grown, that's become a little more difficult, but I still do my best. And anyone who follows me, you know that I'm regularly engaging with the community. So those are the five things I encourage you to look for. Number one, do they have proven experience? Number two, when they speak, are they technically accurate? Number three, in their videos, do they make hands-on content? Number four, are they transparent when they make sponsored content or have kickbacks? And number five, do they actually engage with the community? Now, I hope I meet every one of those, but honestly, there's areas for me to grow as well. But hey, if you appreciate my content, there's two things I would ask you to do.
Number one, I have some courses that teach you how to be an ethical hacker. Now the difference between my courses and other ones is these are crazy affordable. Every single one is under $40. My latest one is hands-on fishing, teach you to do full fishing engagements. I have AWS pen testing and I have introduction to hacking methodology. Links to those courses are in the description. It would be amazing if you bought one of those. You can also support me on Ko-Fi. Once again, all the links are in the description. But number two, here's what I wanna hear from you. Who is your favorite YouTuber? Who is your favorite content creator that is legit in this space? Maybe they have 100 subscribers, maybe they have 100,000, maybe they have a million, but I would love to hear from you. Who should I be following? And who should other people in the comment section be following? Now, I'm gonna ask you not to drop names of people you don't like. I don't wanna become, you know, that Reddit thread from a while back, but who do you thoroughly enjoy and who do you learn from? Let me know in the comments. I would love to connect with them. I would love to subscribe to them. I would love to follow them and other people in the comments would as well. So, hey guys, thank you so much for being on this journey with me. I will catch you in the next one.